I am Davros and I'm a Hoovian and today I review Doctor Who um, Battlefield. This is a, a serial from season 26, the first serial of season 26 where the Doctor and Ace uh, answer a distress call and come down to Earth present day uh, well, present day at the time, and they find this, uh, this like woman named Morga, Morgus, uh, that comes from this other dimension because she wants the sword of Excalibur. So it's like a, a brief mix of the legend of King Arthur and the Doctor and a retired brigadier, yeah, Nick Courtney, uh, comes back with Unit and they have to find a way to stop her. So that's basically the gist of the whole story. So, I'm going to get straight to my likes and dislikes. First of all, likes. I thought this was an interesting story. I liked it. You know, it you know, brought back some old faces, including the Brigadier and Unit, even though Unit had a new squad and everything, and a female Brigadier, I think. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I thought Sylvester McCoy was brilliant as the Doctor is always. He's a very underappreciated Doctor, I think, McCoy. And of course Sophie Aldred was good as well as Ace. And I love that we got to see Nicholas Courtney in the classic era for one last time. And probably the last time he would ever be in the show. I mean, he was mentioned a lot in the revived era. Even returned in the Sarah Jane Adventures for one story. But never actually came back to the main show. So I'd say this was his final performance as the Brigadier in Doctor Who. At least the classic era. Uh, but, so yeah, I love that Nicholas Courtney came back. Now a retired man, but coming out of retirement to, you know, help with the Doctor and also still knowing it's the Doctor, even though he's changed his appearance many times again. Um, so yeah, I like that. Uh, I also like the story as well. The story wasn't too complicated, but uh, yeah, I, I like the bit of the mashup with how they were playing on the whole legend of King Arthur in this especially Morgus Morga you know who was obviously meant to be the evil sorceress Morgana from the Arthoni Arthenian legend she even had her own Mordred and um, yeah uh, but I also like the units of the late 80s definitely late 80s cheese in there as well I'd say too uh, in that uh, but yeah and I also liked the visuals. I think this was a three-part or was it a four-part serial? Either way, it, it you know, it, yeah, it, it was a pretty easy sit through for me. Uh, at least for me, I found it an easy enough sit through. Uh, and yeah, I I very much liked this one. It was okay. It's a shame knowing that this was the start of the final season before Doctor Who's cancellation in '89. But I think it got off to a good start, and it got and it you know it ended okay. You know, with the master and that. Anyway, yeah, Battlefield. Um, yeah, I think it's a good serial, classic serial, uh, and you know, it had good visuals for its time. You know, I feel that if Doctor Who had carried on into the nineties, we might have seen some computer effects in there. That would probably be dated today, but would still be groundbreaking back then. And I feel in the late eighties, that's what Doctor Who was starting to get into, the computerized uh, stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, not quite CGI, but I thought the effects for its time was, was good. You know, dated now, yeah, but still good visuals for its time. And yeah, I like this one. I, I like this serial and yeah, it was pretty decent. Um, and of course the Doctor being the Doctor he saves the day stopping Morgana and you know him and the Brigadier Poe's once more so yeah and the Doctor and Ace go off into another adventure again in the TARDIS I also think this was was this one the last time we saw the the interior of the TARDIS uh, in the classic era because you know, the TARDIS was pretty much worn out by then, the TARDIS set. They were going to build a new one as well, but like I say, it unfortunately got cancelled and that had never came to be. So, uh, my ratings. 
Um, I thought the performances were great. They get a nine. The visuals, they get a seven. Um, the writing that gets a that gets an eight, and my personal, I'm giving it. Um, I'm giving it an. I'll give it an eight because, like I say, I enjoyed it. So there you go. That has been my Who review on Doctor Who Battlefield. What do you think to it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do tear. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I've been Davros the Whovian. This has been a Who review on Doctor Who Battlefield. So, until next time, you know, good for your life. Did I mention, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment with your friends. All my social media links are down below. So, yeah, as I, I don't know if I said that already, but there. Yeah. I just said it again in case I forgot to say it. Anyway, yeah. For the second time now. Until next time, run for your life.